Watch yourselves, everyone. It's easy. This should be the last. Thank you, mighty soul guard. Yes. Be useful. Got some syrup. Taking this. Is there an entrance to that uh, tower looking thing over there? Did you feel it? It's like the air is alive with wind spirits in there. I hope we learn more about those structures on our trip. Next! Just one left! <laughs> Thank you, mighty soul guard! Grizzly! Yes! Taking this? What new unseen challenges await us? I saw this in a book one time. Let me see. Nice. Taking this? Taking this? <laughs> 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 
Yes! Grizzly! I have to fulfill my duty at the Soul Garden. What's this? It's got wind energy inside it. Oh, I know! It must be one of those elemental vessels I've read about. They say that the mana goddess bequeathed the vessels unto a great hero in order to aid him on his quest. Apparently, they're quite powerful. Whoops! I shouldn't throw around a sacred artifact. Intruders! No, wait! Maybe they're the Alm and Soul Guard. What? Already? That's right. I am the Alm of Fire, and this is Val. He's my Soul Guard. Is this yours? Try not to leave an important thing like this behind, okay? Oh no! The intruders found out we took the boomerang without asking! No, wait! This is our chance! If a Soul Guard returns it, the Chief won't get mad! Aha! No one would question the Soul Guard! You two can play with the boomerang all you want. Just put it back when you're done. Oh, well then I guess I was using it correctly after all. Let's give this thing back as soon as we reach the town. Sure, we can return the boomerang and then meet up with the Alm of Wind. So these vessels belong to a hero who got them from the goddess? We should take good care of it on our way to Longren then. Let's plan our next move. everyone let me see this might be useful grizzly want to do this the hard way huh Get a load of those windmills! They're everywhere! The people of the Vale use the northern winds that blow year-round to power them. They're used to spin thread and make fabrics. One of their traditional techniques actually dyes the cloth those bright colors. The book I read called it Wind Dye. It's famous! Wow! I hope we can watch them at work! Easy! Just one left! Sure made quick work of them. Taking this. I'll back you up. Come at 
me. You should be the You sure made quick work of them. Be useful. Improved. Got some 
syrup. Taking this? be useful.
Yes! This should be the last one. Come at me! I guess this means I've improved. Hey, is the Sylphid in Sylphid Boomerang like a name or something? Uh huh. I'm pretty sure it's the name of the Elemental of Wind. Uh, then do you think he'll get mad if we use his boomerang? Elementals are aspects of nature and emissaries of the goddess of mana. They watch over the lands, rarely interfering with the people who inhabit them. So, you're saying that he probably wouldn't mind? Not according to the book I read, at least. Grizzly! This is kind of exciting. Nice! I'll take you all on! Next! One left! Take this! Soul Guard's resolve never sways! Here they come! Just one left! Come at me! You sure made quick work of them! Yes! Got some syrup! Yes! means I've improved. This place sure lives up to its name. The wind never stops, huh? This breeze is strange, though. It feels melancholic somehow. Well, first order of business is to return the elemental vessel to the chief. Then we see about the Yalm. Dragonfolk can live to be pretty old, right? Do you think the new Alm of Wind could be a senior citizen of the Vale? Don't worry. I'll carry them to the mana tree on my back if I gotta. What a fine upstanding soul guard you make! This might be useful. Let's rest up. Taking this. Taking this? I'm Val, the Soul Guard. I came across your elemental vessel and wanted to return it. Gracious! I was wondering where Ramco and the Little One spirited that away to. Thank you. Those youngins will get an earful later, but enough about that. Welcome to Longren, friends. A pleasure. So where might we find the Alm of Wind? On that subject, I have some unfortunate news. The fairy has not yet arrived to name the Alm. Oh, then you're still waiting to see who gets the job? Here in the Vale, we welcome the fairy with a traditional wind dyeing ceremony, as performed by one of our wind oracles. But this year, our attempts at the ritual have been unsuccessful. 
There is one oracle, Karina, whose attunement to the wind element is unparalleled. At this rate, I fear that without Karina, the fairy may not come at all. Sadly, she refuses to listen to my orders anymore. No matter what I do or how soundly her parents scold her, Karina says she won't budge until she feels like it. But now that you have arrived, Sir Soul God, there may be a chance to get her to see reason. I humbly beseech you to talk to Karina. What? Why me? Perhaps if she is buffeted by a breath of fresh air, she may yet bend to the winds of fate. Be sure to give her a good buffeting, mind you. You mean use the vessel to literally knock some sense into her? Surely a precious artifact should be handled delicately. These days, the elemental vessel is scarcely used as more than a child's plaything. I am certain that a soul god would have much better applications for such an object. Come, if the fairy is not properly welcomed, it could be the end of the veil as we know it. Please, you must make Karina see reason. I think I've got my work cut out for me this time. Hmm. The chief seemed genuinely worried for the fate of the Vale. Now's your time to shine, Sir Soulguard. This is kind of exciting. This might be useful. Let me see. Nice. <laughs> this is kind of exciting. Is this taking this? Taking this? Grizzly! Taking this? Got some syrup! Taking this? Strangers? What is it? Are you selling something? Find somewhere else to hawk your wares. Uh, are you by any chance Karina, the Wind Oracle? I'm Hina, the Alm of Fire. And this is... Val, the Soul Guard. Nice to meet you. <laughs> What's the convoy of alms want with me? No, let me guess. The Chief sent you to convince me to do the Wind Dine, right? Well... Yeah, actually. 
In Tiania, we build a ceremonial bonfire to celebrate the fairy's arrival. Longren has different traditions, though, right? The chief thinks sending outsiders to do his dirty work is gonna make me budge. Well, he's got another thing coming. Nope, never again. But if the fairy doesn't come, no one can be named the Alm of Wind. For the sake of Longren and the rest of the world, would you please consider performing the wind dying ceremony? When someone asks a stranger for a favor, usually they have something to offer in exchange. I'll tell you what, you can find Shiryu for me. I've looked all over town already and I gotta get off my feet for a bit. Shiryu? I'm guessing they're a friend of yours. What do they look like? He's dreamy. About the same age as me. Got a nice smile. Oh, someone kind of like Val then? <laughs> Spare me. He's nowhere near as wimpy as this guy. Gee, thanks. Well, Hina, sounds like we have a missing person to find. If Karina's already looked in town, let's try the outskirts. That's me. And you're? Val, the Soul Guard. And this is Hina, the Alma Fire. Oh, Val, Hina. Lovely to meet you. I'm Shiryu, a historian and keeper of tales from the Vale. What are you doing so far outside of Longren? Calibrating windmills, actually. The wind's been hard to predict lately, which might be a side effect of having no Alm yet. Speaking of Alms, Karina said she'd help call the fairy with some wind dying if we found you for her. She did, huh? I guess she came around to the idea after all. Is the dying process hard or something? Uh, not particularly. As long as you know the steps, that is. You just capture the breeze with the cloth to bring out the colored dye. The issue is that the fairy won't come for just any old round of wind dying. Karina has the most skill in long run, so she has the best chance of summoning her. Then, why is she so averse to helping? Because Karina wants... She wants to be chosen as the Alm. And all she's ever heard from the rest of the Vale is that she's wrong for the job. And yet... They keep asking her to help with the wind dying. It wouldn't surprise me if the fairy was staying away on purpose to avoid these hypocrites. But... Why would Karina be a bad choice of Alm? Did she pick a fight with the Elemental or something? <laughs> That's a good one, but uh, nothing that scandalous, I promise. 
but it's complicated. Too complicated to bother you both with right now. Besides, I know Karina wants the Vale to prosper, just like everyone else. And it looks like your arrival might have been enough to give her that push. Anyway, I'll head back to the Vale for now. See you there, and thank you. Just being stubborn. Didn't you hear that the convoy from Tiania has already arrived? We can't keep wasting the Alm's time with your selfishness. You're putting the whole Vale in danger with your temper tantrum. If you want to meet the fairy so bad, then you do the ceremony. Why does it always have to be me, anyway? It's not like I have a chance at becoming the Alm. Y'all made that abundantly clear. You think I'll just go along and do all the hard work for nothing? Pouting about it won't help your case, you know. I'm not pouting. I'm angry. After all, I... I just wanted to be the Om. And see the world. Honey, we know it's hard for you to accept. But it's been years since anyone in our family has been considered worthy of Om status. Sure, your affinity to the wind element meant you had a good chance at the gig. But after what you did in the Sanctum? Fine. Criticize me all you want. But I don't regret my actions one bit, so stop lecturing me. How irresponsible. The other wind oracles don't cause their parents this much trouble. But if we don't push her, the fairy might not visit Longren at all. Maybe Shiryu can talk some sense into her. you for me no sweat so you'll perform the wind dying ceremony now hmm did I say that next time get in writing besides I have some stuff to talk to Shiryu about bye bye hang on I thought you wanted a favor for a favor we gotta call the fairy to Longgren before it's too late Karina don't forget there's that old saying about the disaster that could befall our tribe if an alm isn't chosen the wind will rage, and the winged fall flightless. We're too old for fairy tales, Shiryu. Besides, the wind is always blowing here, and it's not like we dragon folk use our wings to fly in the first place. <laughs> Maybe the proverb isn't meant for dragon folk. Ramco has wings too, you know? But I don't have to be the one to do it. No one in town even cares who does the wind dying, and I wouldn't do it even if they begged. Why bother? <sighs> it's not like the fairy would ever pick me to be the alm anyway. I have an idea. Val, why don't you do the wind dying instead? M me? Anyone is allowed to use the technique. And besides, it never hurts to have a breath of fresh air to try and bend the winds of fate. The chief said something similar, now that you mention it. Good luck, you'll need it. I 
think I'll just stay here with Shiryu if it's all the same to you. <laughs> you two do make a cute couple. Yeah, yeah. Look, the dying stall is up a ways over there. Just give it a go. up to me to perform the ceremony and call the fairy. Here goes nothing. If it doesn't work for you, let me have a go. All right, we'll take turns. Taking this? Grizzly! You are here for the wind dying? Uh, forgive me, it is a complicated process. Even oracles in training have trouble with the steps. Well, someone's got to try. What was it? A uh, breath of fresh air and all that? Oh, look! Ramco has come to watch! What's a Ramco, anyway? She's not a what? She's a sacred beast. Her ilk usually resides in the Wind Sanctum near the Vale. When Karina was training in the Sanctum, she suffered a grave injury. Though she lost one of her wings, this sacred beast saw her safely back home. Since then, the two have been like sisters, nigh inseparable. Ramco even began to stay here in the Vale instead of returning to her home. Although... 
Karina has been so preoccupied with Shiryu recently that she and Ramco have become distant. Perhaps they're growing apart. Oh, please excuse my rambling. <clears throat> I shouldn't distract you from trying to summon the fairy for everyone in the Vale. Yeah, sure. No pressure or anything. You can do it, Val. Let's see. <sighs> Come wind! <laughs> <laughs> that won't get you anywhere. <laughs> you couldn't even swat a bug, let alone call forth a fairy. I thought you said you were busy with Shiryu. It's not my fault your flailing was so bad I couldn't ignore it. <laughs> even a novice could do this better than you. Thanks, it's been a while since I laughed so hard. So, Hina, do you want to give it a go next? Oh, can I? Huh? But she's the alma fire. Where's the sense in that? True, it's never been done. But I'd have quite a tale for the history books if the alm of fire were to call forth the fairy for the veil of wind this year. Give me a break. Oh, I see. Please allow me to try, Shiryu. I bet I can expertly harness this wind. Hold it right there. Fine, I'll do it. As the best dyer in the veil, I have now officially changed my mind. I'll show you how it's really done. Write that in your history books. chosen as the alm. Congrats, Shiryu. Good job. No. Huh? No, I refuse. I, I won't be the alm. But why? Being named the alm is an honor. Why would you run away from your duty? Hina? Um, I actually haven't named anyone the Alm yet. H how could he betray my trust like this? Yeah, Shiryu was the one insisting that you had to call the fairy to keep the veil from being destroyed. Then he just ran away. He should know better. He saw how hard I worked to be worthy. It's always been my dream even though I knew it was hopeless. Everyone kept saying it's impossible for someone like me to be the Alm of Wind, that I can't feel the wind beneath my wings like the rest of them do, now that I've lost one of them. When I told them all that the wind still spoke to me, no one in the Vale believed it. Not the other oracles, not my parents, and certainly not the Chief. They pitied me laughed at me when I said I wouldn't give up. Only Shiryu and Ramco stuck with me. But Shiryu never understood what it meant to me. He never understood me. Well, I'm done with him. Hey, fairy! What? Appoint me the alm. I'll take Shiryu's place. I'm the perfect candidate. Make me the alm of wind. The decision isn't entirely up to me. I must consult with your patron elemental first. But your skill with the wind dying was most impressive. The wind was dancing with joy. I believe that Sylphid may accept you as the Ohm if we ask. I'll take your compliments to heart, fairy. Sounds like we've got an elemental to convince. Where do we find this Sylphid fella? At Mount Gala, the source of the winds. Do 
you and your girlfriend want to come? As the Soul Guard, it's your job to see even potential alms safely to their destination, right? You have a point. Let's go to Mount Gala. <gasps> I forgot about Ramco! Sorry, but I gotta find her before we head off, or I never forgive myself. I ignored her for so long, but if this works out and I am named the Alm, I have to say goodbye before I go. And I gotta apologize. Help me find Ramco. Where could Ramco have run off to? Come on, Hina. Let's help Karina search. Of course. What good is a convoy if we don't work together? Thanks. I mean it. She's gotta be in the veil somewhere. Let's keep looking. Welcome. Welcome. We're having a special. Come again soon. Hmm. Welcome. All our goods are high quality. Come again soon! Sorry, I was stupid. I got so caught up in Shiryu that I neglected you. But in the end, you were the only one who understood me. I have to go and meet with Sylphid now in order to become the Alm of Wind. I guess this is... Goodbye. <coughs> go back to your home in the Sanctum. Farewell, my friend. This isn't the way to the Wind Sanctum, you know. You really? You really want to come with me? <laughs> okay, let's get moving. Bye. 
Thanks for helping me find Ramco. But we're not done yet. I won't rest until I found Sylphie. Don't worry. I'm here to protect you. Let's go. I'm just glad that you and Ramco made up.
a great new experience. Sure. I'm one step closer to becoming a true soul guard.
Helping out people in need can be so rewarding. Oh look! Another duck bear! Yep, duck bears can be found all over the world. At least that's what Shiri... You know what? Never mind. Let's be sure to greet any dud bears we spot during our travels. We'll probably end up with spare grizzly syrup to trade anyway. Karina, the wind conveyed the news. You are off to consult with Sylphid, the elemental of wind, if I am not mistaken. There's nothing you can say that'll change my mind. I'll become the Om and make you see you were wrong about me, about everything. Soulguard, as you can see, young Karina is as stubborn as can be. But we cannot disobey the fairy's guidance. Please, see Karina safely to wherever she is needed, be that the mana tree or otherwise. You can count on it. Well, you heard him. Just remember that you'll have me to thank for the Vale's prosperity from here on out. Uh, before you leave, Soul Guard, I would have you take this seed with you. It is said to bring forth hidden abilities of the bearer. Take it with my blessing. Thanks. I'll find a use for it. The elms are necessary to preserve a future for the whole world. It is our duty, much as a soul guard's duty is to protect us. Karina, an oracle of wind, wishes to take upon herself the task of an alm of her own volition. No one fights against their fate if they themselves choose to bear it. We all have our individual roles to play. Places from which we hail. Ways of life. All of these affect the future. And I am proud to be the bearer of such an important mission for those who may come after. Mind letting me get a piece of that thing the Chief gave you before we left? I figure I need to be as strong as I can be to fight monsters out here. Wait, you're going to fight too? I might seem like a delicate blossom, but I'm a force to be reckoned with. That wasn't the happiest farewell back there. Will you be able to set out on the pilgrimage straight away if you're chosen as the Elm? Don't worry, I'm not leaving anything behind that I care about. Honestly, I couldn't wait to leave. I've always wanted to see what's out there in the world. Back in Longren, they don't let you travel much unless you're chosen to be the all. If it weren't for you showing up when you did, I'd still be stuck in town itching to get out. Thanks for that, actually. Then I suppose we'll have to do our best so that you get to continue on the Alm's journey. The people of Tianea sure are friendly. Or maybe you folks are the exception.
The elemental vessel is reacting to something. How strange. Oh! Huh? Oh! I do believe the spirits wish to aid you on your journey. Elemental vessels can tap into different types of mana and bestow those powers on their wielders. Don't hesitate to use them during your travels. And now, I must be off! Karina, do you know if Ramco is fully grown? Hmm, she has a grown. So much since we met, but I think she's still a baby. Our village has tales from olden times of huge sacred beasts flying through the skies on their bright white wings. Then will you give us a lift once you're big enough, Ramco? <laughs> he said no thanks. Oh, he does. I don't want to go. Says that she'll 
let you ride on her, Mina. No fair! That's the not least! You can't roll soup!
Great. Now what do we do? <laughs> you two aren't that bright, are you? You've got the Vessel of Wind, so use it. See? The Sylphid Boomerang will react when you come across something like this. I get it. We use the power of wind to get past the cliff. Okay, I can do this. There's a first time for everything. Let's give it a try. with the wind spirits. With the healthy gusts coming from Mount Gala, we're sure to end up where we need to go. Let's do it! Challenges await us. Taking this? Let me see. Is this? Taking this? Nice! 
There's no coming back from a fall like that. Watch your step! Got some syrup! How do you think Shiryu is doing? He was in shock, but I think he'll be okay. What do you think, Rina? Me? I'm not even gonna bother thinking about that loser or scary anymore. Oh, I do wish we parted on better terms. We didn't even get to say goodbye, really. Hang on. This might be useful.
What happened here? Sylphid! Selfid? <laughs> well, you certainly took your time. No arm, um, no flow of mana power, and then a gigantic monster shows up. I have not had it easy. Hmm. <sighs> Wait a minute. Let's see here. I know you! You're the one-winged oracle, aren't you? Come here. The wind spirits like you. Yes, you're quite compatible. If you have both Ramco and the wind on your side. I see no reason not to make you the arm. It's decided. Uh, Karina, one who dances on the wind with sacred beasts. By the grace of the goddess of mana, I name you the arm of wind. I can't thank you enough! 
Hang on. Let's make it sound more official, shall we? Oh, wise Soul Guard and his companion, the Alma Fire, I humbly ask to accompany you on your pilgrimage. Okay, enough dawdling. Let's get going. We have a whole world to see and an important duty to fulfill. Usually the Elm of the Moon would be the next stop, but... Yeah, Etern is already gone. It's gotta be 16 years now since it was lost to time. All the parishioners disappeared when they were unable to produce an Elm to offer to the Mana Tree. The whole place is in ruins. Then I guess we can skip a Etern on our journey. <sighs> Too bad. I wanted to see what it was like. Once we get through Mount Gala, we should reach the Lefea Drifts. Then we'll be headed to the harbor. Whoa, drifts? As in snow drifts? You hear that, Ramco? We can make snowmen to our heart's content. <coughs> well, shouldn't we be on our way to the mana tree? I can feel myself getting strong. What a snowstorm. <laughs> At this rate, I'm going to become a snowman. What are we supposed to do now? We keep going, is what? <laughs> the alms journey is never easy, as they say. In the past, Lefeo was an idyllic area with a mighty river. The nearby parish was full of life and warmth. But tragedy struck 16 years ago, when the moonlit parish at Tern failed to send an alm to the mana tree. Without the protection of its elemental, the land was decimated by an endless blizzard. The cold so bone deep, it was as though time itself had frozen over. Atern lost all of what it was, and all it could have been, ravaged by its dreadful fate. The fear of that same destiny haunts us all. That is why we have to live life to the fullest, while we can. Everything's frozen. The plants, the wildlife, all of it. And this blizzard is insane! Don't lose sight of the group or you'll never find your way back. back. So pick up the pace already! This is a grim reminder of what happens to villages that don't send alms to the mana tree. Let's rest up! <laughs> 